TV is the only choice. I think he means Terry Venables. If uh, there are those at the FA who don't like him, then let them go instead. OK, power to the people. Italian football, isn't it? Marvellous. The first of our full-time reports from the Premiership. Coventry versus Wimbledon, Adam Dent. It's that time again. Two o'clock, or thereabouts, on a Saturday afternoon. For the ever-optimistic football fan, just about anything's possible at this hour of the day. Even a Derby County win. <laughs> Stand by for hopes to be dashed, of course, but the uh, beauty of this game is... You just never know, do you? Now, apparently at Prenton Park, there's major drama going on. Remember, Tranmere leads Sunderland by one goal to nil, but it isn't full-time yet. John Kearney can keep us up to date. What a time to join me, Johnny. Tranmere have beaten Sunderland by a goal to nil. Wonderful pictures from Prenton Park there as Tranmere Rovers celebrate only their third appearance in the fifth round in their history. Remember, they've beaten Coventry and West Ham. Now they've beaten Sunderland, Russell Osman. Have you ever heard anything like that towards the end of the game with a police and referee getting involved? Thanks, Jerry. I, I do like a bit of action, man. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm not prepared to go into that. Um, we're going to take a break there, but we'll be back in just a few minutes with more of the day's news and sport included. Loads and loads of emails, just absolutely enormous amounts. We all care about who's going to be the next England coach, starting with Joseph James, who's aged 10 from Bolton. He thinks that Bobby Robson should be the England manager. The pair have about as much chance of making it into a Naples living room as Marco Ferrigno has of getting into the Oval Office. So I suppose we'll never know what her banana's for. I did not have ceramic relations with that woman. <laughs> My name is Daniel Foxall and I'm eight years old. I applied for the England job when Hoddle finished. I had a reply from the FA and I was in the newspapers, but I didn't get the job. What about my chances this time? Well, he's more experienced. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Look at that, Nottingham Forest. Well, it's not over and out yet for David Platt. Grimsby 4, Forest 3. Big result in Division 3, Chester Nil, Rotherham 2. Full-time report after 5 o'clock on that. Look at that, Luton have equalised at uh, Bloomfield Road. Blackpool 3, Luton 3. I think David Davis knows it all. <laughs> Shall we talk, does not he? I don't, I don't think he's ever said anything unscripted in his life. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Davis. I've had a good day at work. <laughs> Sorry. Morning, sports fans. Here's the deal. The FA will seek a full-time successor to Glenn Hoddle over the coming weeks, and that process begins immediately. Thank you, David. With your glasses, I could suggest maybe you're going to do a skiing scene. Right. Yeah, aren't they? I hope they're X-ray. Johnny, do you want to put those on? I think I'm yeah. sure. They're X-ray. I'm going to have a lot of, a lot of fun <laughs> in a few seconds. Oh, excellent. So can you tell me whether I have a gun concealed? <laughs> no, you're just pleased to see me. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, Glasgow Rangers in real problems there, and they're surrendering their 100% record at home. But Paul Walsh, that is a, uh, a really disastrous result. I mean, the Champions <laughs> League won't be enough for Glasgow Rangers fans who call the Premier League their own. Well, there's no guarantees in that at the moment. And that's the sports news, and here is the papers. And do you remember yesterday we were saying, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> do you remember that? Alan Mullery, a broadside. Whenever a coach comes over with absolutely no English track record, the press and all sorts of other sort of jealous old English managers go, he's a load of nonsense, he's got no track record whatsoever, as it goes, as it goes. <laughs> but Alan Sugar said, Alan Mullery has no managerial um, credit to speak of, he mm. did nothing at Barnet, and with response to his career at Barnet, which ended about a season ago, he should have sorted his Barnet out, and I don't mean his haircut. <laughs> so uh, that's the end of the row there between Alan Sugar and Alan Mullery. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, you are... <laughs> A pleasure to work with Jonathan Gould. Maybe when we return in August, we'll be able to salute the new European champions, as well as embarking on what should be another roller coaster of a season. Until then, hope you've enjoyed watching. It's been great fun for us too. From all the football first team, bye bye. <laughs>